Hi, my name is Andy. Today we're going to talk about how to test your compressor for a short. The pins that we're going to be working with are these three terminals right here that plug into the compressor itself. I have my two leads for my meter and my meter I've tried to leave in view there so you can see how it's uh, functioning. But I have it set to the ohm resistance test. So you can start with any two pins. I'm going to start putting the red one on top and then touch one of the other terminals with your lead. I'm reading out at 4.2. Leave the top one touching and move the lead to the other terminal. And it measures out at 6.3. Now I'm going to measure both bottom ones. Reads that at 10.1. So what we're looking for here is the first two tests that we did should add up to the third test that we did. 4.4 and 6.2 should add up to 10.1 or 2. So it's in the ballpark. So what we're testing there is the resistance for both the run and start winding. And essentially what that's testing is the motor inside the compressor, whether that has good uh, continuity. Uh, one other test that we're gonna do is test these terminals, all three of them, to see if they are shorted to ground. So what you're testing there is to see if one of the windings inside that motor has thrown the windings out and it's now touching ground. Um, via the case of the compressor. So take one of your leads and touch any part of this uh, copper here that will be ground and also go and test each one of these three terminals on the compressor. Touch your other lead to any of the three. You should not have continuity. You should not show an electrical path. It should remain OL. If you do have resistance showing between one of these three pins and this copper, your compressor is bad, I'm sorry to say. You have a shorted compressor. I hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.